2022 to everyone. This is my first video for this new year. I just wanted to take a little break and enjoy being with my family and things like that. So yeah, this is my first one for this new year. And um, if you are returning to my channel, thank you so much. I'm happy to have you and I am so grateful. If you haven't seen me before, hi, my name is Shana and I have an almost one year old son called Dane. And I have an almost six year old daughter called Liana. Also, my partner is Italian. So we split our time between Italy and England. So I say almost one year old, and that is because my baby boy is turning one literally in a few days. I cannot believe it. It feels like five minutes ago I was having him. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I got him for his birthday. Um, it was difficult to be on. I mean, because we've just had Christmas and then I had to get myself back into um, the toy shops again for his birthday. Then it's my daughter Liana's birthday in February and then it's my partner's birthday in March. So I have just got a very busy, hectic few months. Um, so yeah, this is not to brag guys. Um, I just personally like these videos myself. And I, if I can help any of you, if you have a one-year-old coming up or anything like that, um, great. You know, that's all this was intended for. Um, some of you may think it's not really a lot. Some of you may think it's too much. But let's just, you know, we all have our own personal preference. I think he's got enough. If you didn't see my video about what I got my kids for Christmas, please go check that out on my channel. And yeah, um, I do just want to mention something that he did get for Christmas, but I want to mention in this video because I find it a very helpful um, toy for a one-year-old, and it is this walker. Now, I got this wooden one, and uh, Dane has used it every day since Christmas Day. Um, it has been so helpful. Now, at the minute, my Dane is not actually walking. Um, I don't really understand why, because he's very strong on his feet. And as soon as we gave him this, he was off like a rocket. He has just enjoyed this. It is beautiful. I got this on Amazon. And not only can they play, but this one has a storage as well. And he loves to put his toys and stuff. It's got the shapes there. And it's got this little thing. Now... I am also um, really into wooden toys. You will see in this video, I just prefer them. I'm not totally against plastic. I personally like Leapfrog and VTech are my favorite ones for plastic, but I will always choose wooden. Um, I find it better colors, the quality is better, it's more durable material. And yeah, I just really love it. Um, but yeah, this is a really good investment, guys, um, for a one-year-old especially. And um, I got this one on Amazon, and they are so reasonably priced as well. So I just wanted to mention that. Obviously, he got that for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to include it because it is such a good thing. Now, I did say he's not walking, but I think he's ready to any day now because he can get around really fast if he's holding on to things. So, I personally think he's going to be walking any day soon. So, we're going to go into his main gift from us. When I saw this, guys, we were on a weekend away in the mountains, which has been featured on my Instagram. Please go check it out. And I saw this in the shop. It is wooden. So that was the first um, checked box. Then it was half price. That was the second. And I thought, oh my God, I just have to have this for my son. It does say it is for older babies. But because he already has the walker and some building blocks and stuff like that, I thought he'll grow into it because as soon as he gets on his feet. And it is this wooden bike motorbike how adorable is that guys i mean come on oh i just loved it now if i can get this assembled i will insert a clip of what it looks like out of the box because i'm going to be um putting it 
I'm going to build it up for him and have it out when he has his gifts. So yeah, but if not, this is what it looks like. You can see from the box. It is um, 82 centimetres long. It's 55 centimetres tall. And yeah, this is just really good when he is up and about on his feet. He can get on it and learn to balance. So yeah, really great. And oh, when I saw it, I thought, oh my God, I just have to, have to have it. And the fact that it was half price, oh my God, amazing. Um, another item is wooden. This is from the toy shop here. And it is this car ramp. It is just gorgeous. Again, it's wooden. It's a great development. They love to have, watch the cars go up and down. And it's just really, really nice. Um, again, just a really good piece. So he's going to love that, I hope. And another wooden piece, which was from the Flying Tiger here. As soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, so cute. And it is this little wooden ambulance. Sorry, it's still got the label on. Um, and just look at the detail of that. Now, I did think this would be handy. Um, you open it up like this. I'll just show you inside. So it comes with five characters. And look at the detail of that. So what's nice about this is um, it will help his development skills. You know, he watches his sister play with dolls all the time. So once he starts getting into that mode, it'll just be nice for him to do like role play and stuff. And there's nothing in here that he can take out and swallow. So that is an absolute plus. So you do get these um, characters as well. And again, I'll just take oh if i can open the bag sorry guys i'll just take one of them out and it is like the doctor or the nurse and again he, this is not a choking it's big enough that if he puts it in his mouth because let's face it that's all babies do and um, he's not going to choke on it so that makes me more comfortable so you get a doctor you get a stretcher you get a girl on a wheelchair um, you also get, um, I think this is a child, and you get like a screen monitor. So yeah, just really cute. Again, it's wooden, I couldn't resist. And yeah, it's just a really great toy. So moving on, um, we found this book. Um, again, this was in the toy shop from here. And what's good about this, I mean, it is an Italian, but if he's like his sister, he's going to be multilingual anyway. So that's okay. And what's nice about this is that it's also a touch and sound. So obviously it's the sounds of like animals, but he can also feel like this one is all soft. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just really, really nice. This is the tail. So yeah, again, this is just a really good idea um, for one-year-old just to help them with sounds and touch and they can see the pictures as well. So yeah, really cute. And this is slightly random, um, but I'm wanting to show you anyway. I did get him this bowl. Um, obviously, it's like a porcelain, so he won't have this until he's ready to deal with it but I just saw it and thought it was so adorable his sister has like a pink one with a mermaid on so I just wanted him to have one when he gets to that age and this was from the flying tiger and if you know the flying tiger they don't stock the same stuff all the time so if you see something get it because it goes fast and you can't get it again um, but yeah I just found that bowl and again from the Flying Tiger, and I did actually feature this in the Christmas video um, that I was going to give, but I did say in that video that I was thinking to save it, and it is this handprint and footprint, and I mentioned that I would probably save it until his birthday, because I thought it would be a nice way to m remember like his first handprint and footprint so yeah I'm actually going to give it for his birthday and put the date and a picture of him on his birthday so yeah I just thought that was really cute also 
And this I found in Lidl. Um, again, Lidl do some really great toys. They do really nice toys as well. Um, I found this, and again, you have to just grab it when you see it. They don't bring the same stuff every time and it flies off the shelf. Um, but I found this and it is just this magical doodle pad. I thought you could just have a little play around and you just fill the pen with water so he's not going to get um, colours and stuff all over the place. Um, yeah, just something for him to try and see how he gets on. And again, it's really good for their development skills, you know, to like hold the pen and draw on it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see how he reacts to that. And then the final thing from us, um, he, I found these um, windy bombs. <laughs> I found these characters and th they're really um, soft and squidgy. They're kind of like those squidgy mellows, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but this one, it says, um, bump me to make me trump, giggle, wiggle and fart. <laughs> now... I don't know what it is. Like, is anyone else finding that a lot of toys out there are to do with, like, poo and farting and going to the toilet? Like, I don't get it. Like, Liana was laughing because she saw, like, there's this, like, flamingo that wiggles on the toilet and he poos on the toilet. And there's also, like, a game where it's, like, catch the poo. And there's another one where you walk across and you, you get blindfolded and you try not to step on the squidgy poo. And I think, how gross is that? Like, what is that? But this one is just in a more adorable way. It's for babies. And there's three characters to get. So there is the unicorn and the panda, which I did think the panda was adorable. But I got the monkey because he is my little monkey. And yeah, this is what it does. <laughs> Yeah, do you hear that? But, but the fact that it, it, I think if you put it on the floor, it'll actually jump on the floor. And I think Dane is going to really like laugh his head off when he sees this. And it's just a cute thing that he can cuddle as well. And um, again, I got this one from Amazon. So yeah, just a nice little toy. And then he's got other bits. Um, this is going to be from his sister. Um, now, I did make this sign for her to give to him, and it's just this little brother. This is not the stick that's going to go in it, but I ran out of the little poles. But I could just quickly add that right before, and I'll put some rope on it to hang it up. This is just to keep it and to show you guys. So, yeah, she's going to be giving him that. And with that, she is going to be giving him this wooden truck. This, again, was from Lidl. Now, they do amazing wooden toys, guys. So when they come, go check it out because they don't last. They fly off the shelves. And with good reason because it's really good quality. And this one actually tips as well. So I thought, again, it's a good development piece. It'll teach him to put things in and tip it out. Again... It's just a really nice. Now, I wanted to get more because they had um, other ones as well. I think they, I don't know what they're called, but they had other truck style ones. Um, at the time, I just bought this one and then I was going to go back and they'd all sold out. Um, and that's what I mean. You just grab it when you see it, guys. So I was stupid, really, that I didn't get the others. But yeah, at least he has one and I think it's really adorable. And then another item that she wanted to give him is another book. And I discovered these on Amazon um, and I saw people on YouTube talking about them and I thought they are such a good idea. And basically it's a wind up book with, this one is the car one. So basically it is story, but it also has a track on it um, but basically you wind the car up you put it on the track and you can read the story as you go along so adorable now they do a few designs of this I know they do an airplane they do um, a pirate ship they do another car one and they do a racing car and each one of them has an its own feature so I think one of them you can actually take the race track out of the book and put it on the floor they do different things and I was just really intrigued 
Now, I only saw these on Amazon, so I don't know if you can buy these in a bookshop or a toy shop. I've never seen them before. Um, but, yeah, on Amazon, they've got all the different ranges. So I got this one just to see how he gets on. It's nice and thick as well. And, yeah, um, this one comes with four tracks, so four different tracks. And I think he's going to love it, to be honest. And when it arrived, even Liana was intrigued. And she was like, oh, I want one, I want one. So, yeah, um, so she decided she wanted to give this for her brother. So, yeah. That's from us and um, he does have some bits from his grandparents. So from my mom and dad um, I found this um, Leapfrog. I told you I like this brand. This is the Leap Stories and basically it's very similar to a Tony box which if you don't know what a Tony box is, this is my daughter's Tony box. Um, they come in a range of colours and basically um, what you do, you get different characters. This one is a like story character or you can get, a, um, they're called Tonys or you can get like a creative Tony. So this set came with a creative Tony and basically what a creative Tony is, you can put, you've got 90 minutes worth and you can put whatever you want on it. You download the app. It's very easy to set up. You download the app and you can put whatever you want on it. And um, these character ones have already got stuff on them. So basically, um, when you turn it on, it lights up there. These characters are magnetized and you put it on and it starts, there you go. Retold by David Henry Wilson. Starts to tell the story. You can fast forward by tapping it, go back. And this, this is quite expensive. It's about um, £70 for the starter kit, which you get the Tony, the charger and the character, uh, which seems quite expensive. But this has been the one of the best items I have ever bought. Liana loves it and especially with the creative toning she loves to pick her own stuff to put on there and she listens to this every single night and um, for story time and re it's really good as well because once it's done it will go into sleep mode so it will switch itself off and um, so it's just brilliant so um that could be an option and I did think to get um, Dane one, but then I saw this one and I thought this is a little bit more for younger people. Um, the little character is Scout and I know that because Liana had Scout and the pink one, or the purple one is Violet. Um, so yeah, I thought that this would be more appropriate for Dane now because he loves to listen to music. He's always bopping away. And this says, um, listen to 80 plus stories, songs and poems, record and play your own story and download additional free stories and more. And this one, it has a projector as well. So when you're playing it, it has the scout character, does like a little jig or something. So, yeah, I just thought this one will just do for day now. And then when he gets a little bit bigger, I'll probably invest in a Tony for him. Because I know Liana won't share her Tony box. Um, but, yeah, it's basically, yeah, that's it. Let your imagination flow. Yeah. Um, oh, God, it's going to go on now, isn't it? Suddenly. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I felt personally it would just be better for him right now. This one was from Amazon um, and yeah, it's got a load, it's got classic stories like The Three Little Pigs, Mermaid, um, Little Red Riding Hood, Rumpelstiltskin and um, it's got um, songs on it, it's got Old MacDonald Had a Farm, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and it also has Sleep Time as well. So yeah, I'm just really happy for him to have this and see how he gets on because I think he might enjoy this for bedtime too. And um, my mum is also getting him this busy book. Um, I'll take it out of this so it doesn't keep shining all over the place. Basically, it is a felted book. There's a clock here. This is a puzzle which Liana's already tried out. And when you open it, it is just all like fastens, buttons, shoelaces, a noisy bit here. 
and basically it is just i think it will just keep babies amused um and what's good about this i thought um because we do split our time between italy and england you know i do travel on the plane and stuff so i felt like this is really handy it's not too big i could just put it in his diaper bag and we can travel with it or if we go out to restaurants and stuff because he gets very um fidgety very quickly he gets bored or if we're on long car journeys you just pop this along and babies love like buttons and zips and chewing on laces so i felt like this was a really good development piece and um, so yeah check it out because again i got this on amazon and they had a few different ones they had more girly ones as well if you've got a girl but yeah, I just feel like this is going to be a really handy piece for him to have. And the final pieces, I can only show you photos because they are from his other grandparents. And obviously, I don't have them on me personally. Um, it is this wooden um, building blocks. He does have the big chunky blocks like um, that you could just put on top of each other but i feel like building blocks are such a staple piece for babies they love them even as they get older you can either get the wooden or you can get the big chunky lego pieces so they don't choke on them but yeah we are getting this lego set um and he is also getting this um pull along wooden duck as well it's just a really cute thing and i think it moves like its wings or something move so that'll be really good again it's wooden i prefer and it's just really cute um babies just love to move things around and the final bit is this lego set now this is a bath time set i've never seen them before and i was really intrigued when i saw them in the shop and um, and you could just build them up and they float so again bath time is a great place for them to learn things and develop things and i think this will be really good because you can build up the characters and they can flow and it's just something fun so that is everything again i do hope you found this helpful let me know if you did let give this video a like if you did and check out my channel for further videos and i'll see you again soon guys Bye.